Hello everybody, I'm back again. I got my uh, little 16 plate uh, test cell up and running. Um, I've got my insulated holes using the method I showed in my video. And uh, <clears throat> right now I'm breaking it in. Um, and it's really, really running way better than I expected. Um, I had to double up my 40 mil gaskets because uh, I couldn't get the clearance right on the plastic grommets that I made. Um, so they're just a little bit thicker than the uh, 116th gaskets I was using in the bigger cell, but not enough to overall. They're both 16 plates, and uh, this one is uh, almost 1 16th uh, wider from back to front on uh, the whole spacing. So it is a little bit more of a gap, but not much. Um, I am running at right around 5 amps, and we're sitting at... Uh, 12.67 volts. Um, so I'm going to uh, do a reading for you here real quick. Um, see if see uh, if you can see that. All right, so. And uh, this actually took me a lot longer than I thought it would. I think altogether I spent about six hours on 16 plates trying to get these uh, uh, plastic pieces melted and I used my Dremel to smooth them out and get them sized down and uh, took me quite a while. Um, probably about six hours altogether um, over a span of a week. Um, not to mention cutting out two gaskets for uh, every plate gra gap um, instead of just one. Uh, but uh, it's really working out quite nicely and here comes our bubble mark. 57 seconds. It's been running super consistent there. Um, as a matter of fact, I already I already got readings for this. Uh, I don't know if this is even going to. Uh, anyway, at 12.67 volts at 5 amps, I get uh, 63.35 uh, watts. Uh, 57 seconds for 500 milliliters gives me an MMW of 8.31. And uh, that's basically the exact reading I just gave you guys right there. Um, luckily, I already did the math, so I don't have to sit here and fumble with my calculator. Uh, I am uh, extremely happy with this cell so far, and I'm not quite sure if the camera will pick up that uh, that plastic grommet that I melted and sanded down in there. And uh, anyway, that is uh, two of those uh, shower mat um, gaskets that I cut out. Um, uh, so anyway, I am going to um, get ready to ramp up this thing. I've been running it for quite a while now. Um, let's see here, I think I've been running it for about an hour, and let me get a temp reading for you guys, uh, 69, see if you can see it, 69.3 degrees in the garage right now, and the cell is up to 80 
degrees Fahrenheit and it's been running for about an hour um, give or take 15 or 20 minutes I don't know I didn't I didn't really pay attention to when I first started running it so uh, as you can see I am I am extremely happy with uh, this cell so far um, it is almost half or at least half the size of the big cell next to it um, uh, the the plates uh, themselves I cut two and a half inches by five inches and uh, minus the gasket spacing which I think I cut them to about a quarter of an inch I was actually really surprised uh, that it sealed up as good as it did because like an idiot I put the uh, gaskets in the washing machine uh, the dishwasher along with my plates after I soaked them all in vinegar and they came out into this uh, little rolled up balls and it was very difficult to flatten them back out and get them to line up properly but uh, managed to do it and it sealed up and uh, ran it a little bit last night and then today and I don't have a single drop so it did seal up good and I'm, I'm glad for that I will be um, using these gaskets in the future um, any tests that I wanted to do with using a single 40 mil gasket is just not going to be possible with the uh, uh, plastic inserts that I'm doing um, I just can't get them uh, uh, ground down far enough to where they don't seal up against each other uh, which would defeat the whole purpose of the thing so I'm gonna stick with uh, these these gaskets are 1 16th and they're pretty uh, the gasket material is actually a really tough material uh, I'm not sure exactly what it is I got it at Ace Hardware um, but uh, uh, handles pressure uh, really good without losing any of its um, spacing so when I do end up adding my 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 extra plates to this one I believe it will uh, hold the, the spacing just fine um, let's see here I'm sorry I haven't been sleeping too well lately I've been trying to get all this stuff done and now my brain is just not working anymore um, next time you see this cell I will be uh, ramping it up to quite a few more amps um, and we'll see how good it does at the higher amps hopefully I can keep my MMW I've been mapping my MMW and it's been staying at the 8 MMW rating um, I'm extremely happy with that I, it, it, I was hoping for 7 um, but uh, it's doing much better. I hope that I don't lose any uh, efficiency at a higher amp amperage. Um, you know, I'm only running five amps right now in the break-in phase, and uh, uh, I'm only using one teaspoon of sodium hydroxide. Uh, so I'll put another one in and and see where that gets me. Um, the bigger one I think I was putting like three or four teaspoons in to get up to 25 amps uh, I was stuck at 25 amps I could never get higher on that one with the sodium hydroxide so uh, we'll see how it goes um, I can't wait now to tear this thing apart when I tear that apart I'm gonna stick with the 16 plate to begin with I'm going to insulate the um, holes top and bottom just the way I did here um, I'm using this uh, uh, quarter inch inside diameter 3 8 outside diameter for the small holes and uh, for the uh, larger holes I see here I can't really uh, I'm using uh, it's hard to see this is a cut up one and I've already melted part of it but uh, this is a half inch outside diameter tubing and uh, oh I got a bunch of it over there um, if you can see it rolled up anyway um, so 
so that's what we'll be doing to the bigger cell. Uh, I'm going to keep it at 16 plates for now just so that I can run some equivalent tests on it. Uh, it was running at a 5.3 mmw and uh, 6.1 at higher voltage. Um, thanks, that's all I got for now.